like my window so I can have it open all the time without bugs flying in and trying to zap me with their lasers. It always happens around here. I live in a very ghetto place where, like, on New Year's Eve, this is a legit story. We'll actually, we'll start the game and then we'll talk about the story now that we're on about it. Our first game for tonight happens to be between the guy that I like, Helping Hands, versus Spanky. Ah, oh, Spanky. From the Modern Combat mod. Uh, we'll go straight into the game now, and we can talk about the ghetto place and wonderful, uh, irritating, stabby, stabby. Uh, I, blue cam as well. My camera is amazingly messed up. It's got a blue tint to it. I don't know why. I shall try and fix that at some point. But not now. Right now, we are too busy to do that. So the stabby stabby story. Uh, on New Year's Day or Eve, I can't remember Morning, when it was, I was walking home, uh, walking a girl to the bus stop to send her away. And this, like, gang of really coloured people. They were really extremely coloured. Let's put it that way. And they were like, Argh! almost like that. Except with less of that and just more of the threatening of us. So we had to walk away, and that's basically that. And then my South African dude that lives downstairs was not too happy about that. He was also very drunk and offered to go beat them up. So that's what happened. That is that that was the story. Anyway, we have no. It's not racism, dude. I can't. It's like oh well, they were kind of I don't know wearing lots of gold jewelry. Uh, had some unusual phrasing of their sentences didn't seem very educated you know what can I say they were they were there that's where I live it's very sort of Muslim around here I don't know why but it doesn't bother me at all as long as everyone's nice to each other I, I don't care and <laughs> they were not nice to me but anyway the game let's walk away from the people saying it's racist and we'll go straight to the game we have helping hands on the left hand side with the four engineers out and he is capturing a bunch of stuff, probably going to get some riflemen out, because he has a barracks down. Four engineers and barracks. And over on the right hand side, in the red, we have Spanky getting his motorcycle out, and a Volk squad. That's not a Volk squad, that's a Volk squad. That's not a spoon. This is a spoon. It certainly was. That was a good episode of The Simpsons. And no! Don't say that in chat. That's naughty. We are live, by the way. I will be uploading these games in... 10... 80p on my YouTube at some point. And if it turns out to be a good game, we should also include the multicam. So if you want to see the game later at the YouTubes, turn off the stream now and you'll get a higher quality game later on YouTube. Uh, I won't upload all the games though. So if you want to see all the games, you better stick around. That's that's a sort of turn off. Turn off? Tw twist off. It's the, one of the phrases goes like that, something like that. Anyway, we got riflemen out. A second group of riflemen, I presume. No, it's the first group of riflemen. They are out firing on the motorcycle. Who gets away with light scratches? They'll be able to paint that up. Just a few brushes. We got barbed wire going down from Spanky in all the usual places, and helping hands is bearing an irritating little bugger, capturing the fuel. Uh, preventing them from accessing the munitions as well. So, delayed strategy is it's going to be responded to by a machine gun and a motorcycle, which also has a machine gun. Everyone's got MG42s. In one of the last games, I was actually trying to figure out if Grenadier's got an MG42 as the upgrade or an MG older edition. Uh, but it turns out all the machine guns that Germans use are MG42s, all of them just attached into different places. So, sometimes I overthink things and it becomes really complicated in my brain. Uh, we've got mines being placed uh, not too on the side of the victory point, so I guess he's looking for a big target. Maybe Spanky saw that with a motorcycle. Seeing those grouped up engineers is a key indication of mines being placed down. And the riflemen are generally pushing up on the north side and the south side. Here's a second squad. Uh, with all these engineers, though, really, what is Hans going to do uh, with all the engineers? He's got a He's got to use them now for capturing stuff, but he's already captured a fine significant amount of the map. He has to do battle now. Uh, so, grouping those engineers together with riflemen is probably the best thing to do. Uh, two riflemen, four engineers. Simple division it takes that five of everything equals spaghetti. Volks holding off in this house, they hop inside. The windows aren't 
exactly facing where they want to. The riflemen move up behind the, the heavy cover. Good positioning here. I don't see how they can fire, though. It's, it's totally not the angle. Look at that radio off as well. He's so cool. Such a dude. He's my favorite guy in the whole entire squad. And I feel sad when he dies. Really sad. The Volks are moving back as well. In fact, that Volk is taking a swim! Dude, he's such an awesome diver! Such an awesome diver. He, uh, he's gone now, though. He's dead. He's never coming back. He's not going to be found ever again. Uh, Spanky bringing up some more MGs, covering the middle for the most part. He even detects the mines! Uh, one soldier lost it, though. Decided to end it. Or will he disarm the mine? He is going to disarm that mine. So instantly, Spanky already on the mine detection. Nice play from Spanky. Uh, how Hans actually moving up north for the engineers to catch some stuff. Good job, Hans. That's the key advantage of having so many engineers. Is you can actually send off squad to go do some of the back work for them. Uh, how's he going to handle all these MGs, though? Spanky, very, very extremely defensive in the middle. We've got rifles in the building uh, doing some firing out of those windows. Only two windows being occupied. Uh, rifles are moving on from here as well. It seems like... We have a rifleman squad here. Yes, Hans, move it, move it. You would like to move it. There's a good opportunity to move around here, but it is protected by a mine. Oh, my God. All the players are doing all of the excellent things all of the time. It just seems like both players have fine-tuned this almost, but no one's going to get away light from this. Uh, I'd say more riflemen have been lost, and certainly more riflemen are going to be lost. Oh, my God. He's dodging the mine. What the hell? I didn't think this play could get any more perfect, but it certainly is. Uh, what the <laughs> the bike explodes trying to push a squad the mg sets so it's the mg's completely given up completely given up entirely his two rear squad mates aren't protecting him uh, spanky decides to the no he's not going to hop in the building i think that building might have been a good choice uh, sets up d sets up we got really wounded free man rifleman squad uh, they're going to continue to cap really <laughs> suicide happening right there if he gets spotted by any of the Volks. I've seen this happen before. I've seen a Volk squad fire one shot and it's killed two guys and it's like, what? Game, are you serious? Are you totally serial right now? It, it baffles me, but that can happen. Uh, it's gonna get very lucky though. There's one casualty from one bullet. Keep firing, guys. You can get another one. Yeah, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Do we have a triage center up? We do have a triage center up. Any tech choices? No, that is to be expected at the seven minute mark. But sometimes we get tier two. Sometimes we get a fast tier two. It's not a whole bad. We like tier twos. We got two flame engineers, uh, which will be ruffling all the way. Oh, double mines. Double mines. Why? Why the double mines? We don't have any minesweepers from what I've seen from Helping Hand so far. And there's those aren't engineers. Oh, triple flamethrowers. So no minesweepers for hands just yet. Uh, he has a spare engineer squad which could certainly upgrade to a minesweeper and that'd be very useful. Uh, because chances are I don't want to miss those mines exploding. But if a rifleman decides to go up there, or even worse, an engineer decides to go up there without the proper tools and equipment to disarm those mines, he might just indeed lose a squad. And that would be bad for hands. Cannot stress enough. How bad that would be for hands. And he's moving. Again, just going around the sides, capturing those extra engineers. And still good stuff there. The MGs are doing what they do best in suppressing engineer squads. Not suppressing these guys because they're in heavy cover, which means they're a bit more resistant to the machine gun fire. A second rifleman squad deciding... Oh, they've not really... No, this is bad! Bad! If this gets flanked by a rifleman squad, these guys will also take damage from that mine. Don't sit on your own mine. Sitting on your own mines is also just the most... Terriblest idea of all times. Oh crap, we missed the mines. Who died? It was the engineer squad. Most likely a flame engineer squad. Uh, hitting both of the mines. Damn it! Damn it, I'd like to see the mines explode. These mines also exploded, so I think we definitely need some goddamn... We need to figure a way to get live cam. In fact, I've been researching something very interesting, and I might... I might have a solution. But it won't quite be the same. It would be like double casting but you can see the screen of the other person who is also screaming put into one screen that would be fantastic this is the way forward for esports is to get those multi cams in and you know that's part of what i like to do about uh, exploring with technology it's all fun for me this is fun for me this is my fun and we forgot to press the game one button game one yeah we have sound effects as well 
Volks are losing out on this battle against the Rifleman and Heavy Cover. I heard another mine go off right as anticipated down in this lower section. We got an MG42 score! Scoring the MG42, uh, which is another one looking inside of that building at the Flame Engineers. And this is a really good thing to steal right now, uh, as he'll be able to hold off any sort of aggression from that much player, Spanky, or even protect his own flanks. But chances are Spanky isn't going to be doing any flanky of himself. No, no. That's not the kind of stuff he likes to do. Victory points on the northern side have been captured. The middle one is totally neutral. Remaining internet neutral. Bars are up as well. That's going to hurt the Volks, certainly. Uh, maybe we'll actually be able to push up forward and capture this strategic point now. If he can do that whilst avoiding that MG42, that will certainly be really helpful. Uh, in the meantime, though, we are regaining control of the map for Spanky as he just moves up and takes back uh, what really should belong to him. But because of all these extra engineers that have been put onto the field by helping hands early on in the game, he's been able to capitalize on that pretty heavily. And yeah, we did miss those mines. Oh, we missed these mines as well. We're missing all of the mines. <laughs> hands, why don't you run into the mines when it's convenient for me? We got mines down here. We are watching these mines forever and ever and ever. And we'll watch them explode. Yes. Go on, hands. No, you ain't doing it, ain't you? You, you just ain't gonna do it. Damn you. Ugh, okay, aye, laddie. Why you no hit the mine? Cutting the barbed wire from the reverse side. Yeah! Reversal. But it's gotta look out because of Volk and a Minesweeper Squad. The Minesweeper Squad especially because that battening stick is extremely harmful to Flame Engineers. Uh, metal. Not a good conductor of heat. In the sense of it doesn't go on fire, not like wood. Wood, extremely good conductor of heat. It's actually the reverse, but I don't see why that is. Wood should be extremely conductive of heat. It should just be like, oh my god, it's on fire. Oh my god, it's no longer existent. Surely that says it's a good conductor, but it's not. It's the opposite. Science lesson. Remember it, because we have bars. Bars are a good conductor of, like, volks. Volks do not like bars at all. Uh, we're going to have to retreat, but I think Hans is actually going to run into this mine now. And, uh, yeah, the Volks are going to get out of there before they get caught in the explosion. That lone rifleman detonates the mine by himself. He is a true hero. He shall always be remembered. Always. Yes, this was game one. This is the first game, Geki. And we are live on a new TV. I'm a nuki. We are having some very political discussions about furries earlier because apparently... Because I wear that funny over hat over there, that means I'm a furry. I don't know where the line is between furry, but that's a completely long discussion uh, that I am not at all fussed or feel awkward about talking about. Uh, I think we we covered most of that anyway. So for the people that have not joined live, where are you? Why are you not watching me live? This is I I did this for you. Yes, you, Andy, and Andy's there like. <gasps> Why, oh, Andy? Why? Why is he talking about me? So, if anyone's called Andy out there, I don't know. I'm not. I, I can't see you. Don't worry. I'm not actually looking. What tech choices? We have uh, a safe old pack. Got to be out somewhere. Lol. Someone's laughing. And the Sturm Armory. So, we had a double tech and kind of missed it. Those Grenadiers are out in the middle. Those Enemy Grenadiers are out down. on the north side, capturing stuff as per usual, as is the game dictates that should happen. Uh, because if capturing is not happening, then bad stuff is going on. <laughs> Chat's funny. Uh, okay, Huns has this MG set up in the middle. It seems like the Grenadiers are going to actually get a flank off. But we're going to hop inside the building, the church. The good old classic MG in a church. If only it was a forward base, we'd get the most standardized sort of gameplay ever. Uh, the Minesweepers are soon to take fire from this MG. It's probably going to set up inside that window. Uh, maybe the Grenadiers will come around the side and throw some grenades in, but it's going to be a tricky shot for them as they need to get it in the window where the MG is set up. And the Volks try and come around for a flank as well, instantly retreating them. He doesn't want to get caught in that. Oh my fucking god! Oh, why is he angry about that? He should have expected the MG to turn. We do have a Puma. Puma, an excellent choice right now. Uh, we have that motor pool up, so we can expect an AT gun to pop out anytime soon, and soon as it's going to be built. Uh, bars, maybe. I don't think we have stickies up just yet. But will he bluff it? It looks like he's gonna bluff it. He's gonna, he's gonna bluff it behind the wall. It's still a bluff, it's just a different kind of bluff. Uh, the rifle was decide, uh, the double rifle squad decided to move on the north side. But the MG 
which can't use the armor penetrating rounds because it's the stolen MG42. The stolen MG42 that we can. Uh, I wish you could maybe like pawn off to a pawn shop. We've got a bunch of mines here just in case this barbed wire gets cut. Uh, that will be hit by the infantry that passes. Uh, this barbed wire is still not cut. Just, this is awful barbed wire. It's like totally not decorative at all. Doesn't look good in my books. And I always say a pretty base is a good base. Pretty defenses are good defenses. I hear a Neville shot. You can probably see it in the background. There it is. It's going to land, I think, over here. Uh, yeah, it's going for the MG inside the church building. A fantastic shot, I believe. The fire will start to hurt them. Burn them. Yeah, fuel the fire. And they hop out because that's a correct move. That's what you do. If you're going to take damage, you move out of the damage. Get away from the fire, which hurts. Too much fire kills. Our mines have yet not been triggered by the riflemen because they have no business there. There is nothing to sell here. They are just backing away. Really injured. Vet 1, though. Will they be able to handle a Volk squad and a minesweeper, which are also really injured? Both of them. The Puma comes round. Uh, the riflemen are just trying to keep a building in between them. They will hop inside the building. They'll take fire from the Puma. Instantly retreating the Flame Engineer squad. That's a good trick to do. That's a, that's a neat trick. Pressing T. It's a, it's a really cunning trick. We've got a second Puma moving on the north side. And Hans uh, has gone that infantry. He's in. gone down the Troops Ranger tree. Extinct. Well, we see some Rangers out now. Rangers... Yeah, mm, I don't know about bringing Rangers out onto the field right now. He's got enough infantry, he's got bars, he's got some veterancy. We've got a bunk going down to most likely going to be a... Oh, it could be a meta bunker. It could be a repair station for the double pumas. That's perfectly fine. Both choices are completely valid. I would not mind that. we got mines being placed down as well for hands in key locations. Not as many as our Wehrmacht Spanky player has done. we got rangers. There are the rangers. The rangers are light counter to the pumas, but not the best counter at all. Oh, we're going to see this mine triggered. <laughs> why why do you deny me the satisfaction he's just like nope not doing it not doing it yeah he's not gonna do it the rifleman hopping up behind this wall i can hear that neville firing again and you know it's gonna come down here helping hands can hear it he can hear what the neville worker is cooking and it is cooking some riflemen oh yeah oh it's hitting a lot of riflemen hands but for the people that don't know, Hans is my favorite streamer in all of the Citadel. I am Commander Anuki, and Hans, helping Hans, is my favorite streamer in all of the Citadel. So you should check him out if you see him online and see him in the streams, because he's trying to currently uh, work his way up. Oh, screw you, XCOM! I can't have, like, a million favorites. I like helping Hans. Where's your webcam, XCOM? Show your face! Show yourself! Halt! Who goes there? Whose footprints were these? What noise was that? You know, sometimes you feel like the the guards on Metal Gear Solid are just, like, really old people. <laughs> cheese, you're not my favorite. Go oh, away, Cheese. Helping Hands is my favorite. I can only have one favorite! Damn it. Anyway, back to the game. And back to the future. For those of you that are just joining me, you can go to www.youtube.com and Nuki that is felt spelt, spelt lispily spelt with a double N, double I, and that double I is at the end, not at the start. We are losing a minesweeper squad. We have lost the minesweeper squad. Sweep, sweeper. My, fuck it. We'll have an orange juice drink. What's this battle? Is, oh shit, we got an officer out! Yeah! Officer Hans! Uh, it's a shame Hans is not German, that would be really good. Grenade going off in the top church building, uh, eliminating all of the oxygen inside there. Mm. It's a shame. It's a shame no one was in that building to receive that grenade. It's almost like someone dodged it. And you can see I'm really informal with casting, by the way. I do not really give a damn about being professional. Not at all. Not in a hundred million, jillion, gazillion, willion years will I ever be professional and take myself seriously. Uh, double Puma is moving out on the south. Go away, headphones! Oh, that's going to disconnect my hard drive. That's a shame. I've got a lot of cables around my feet, by the way, and it sometimes gets trapped. Because uh, I'm not wearing socks. 
But that's not important. What is important is double pumas are moving down south to eliminate all of the riflemen. We're going to get some heavy blockage here. Oh. Spanky is doing the spanky dance. No, in fact, no, he's not. Spanky! That's not micro. This is the opposite of micro. You need to be moving in front of those infantry and, and really annoying them. We have a very well-placed observation post put right on top of that fuel point. And if you put an observation post on a fuel point, you get extra fuel. <gasps> How many people knew that? Geesh, I didn't know that. That was like complete. I usually put like observation posts on trees and get extra trees. It's interesting. MG42 from Helping Hand set up in the middle. Not exactly a grand position. You can maybe notch it over just to the right ever so slightly. Maybe get some coverage over that victory point. Meanwhile, Spanky moving up with some Volks and Grenadiers. Brethren going to be hopping into some mines. Helping Hand's putting double mines up here. Uh, taking a lot of fire for that rifleman squad. They instantly retreat. Uh, yeah, mines! <gasps> That's my, like, semi... What is it? Colon? I don't know. Semi-colon. That, that button, whatever it is, and then the O. Oh. The we have a really big mouth as well. Uh, our engagement is going to not favor Hans. Hans is moving around to the left-hand side, though. Can he get a good flank off on this MG? Uh, he maybe could have stuck his squad there for a while longer. They at least gave that MG42 something to do, but now we see it stuck on the field. Still not too much of a concern for the riflemen. To, you know, they'll take up a few shots, but it just won't work. It's a colon! A regular colon! It's a regular colon. That actually sounds like, um... Like, you have mutated colons, and then regular colons. So maybe semicolons are now going to be called mutated colons. Thanks for that. It's going to cheer my life up. I hear that Neville firing yet again on most likely this position where the riflemen are standing. That's not going to help Hans at all. In fact, I think the Neville is not going to, not going to be useful to Hans at all. That ever, but he does find a mine and he detonates it with a Neville, so probably wasn't planning that. Maybe he was, maybe Spanky is just that good! Just that good. His Neville also has moved up quite a bit. Uh, this is a repair station, so we have uh, the Pumas and the Stugs and all of God's wonderful mechanical creatures being repaired by the ever restorative, resurrecting Pioneers. Standing on your mine helping hands, that's all well and good. Uh, in fact, he seems to think that there might be a mine there, so he's he's browsing with flames, browsing for mines. In the meantime, though, helping hands have to retreat his MG because it's been taken out by double pumas. He really needs a counter to these pumas, and that Wolverine is certainly going to do the trick. But you've got to look out for the pack, which is also moving up. He's actually coming around the back of the pumas. The pumas are not going to have anywhere to go apart from forward, which is a direction and a direction which you can escape in. Uh, what kind of damage can the Wolverine get off before it gets taken out by the Stug, though? It's actually focusing on the Stug. Not a good idea. Maybe the Puma would be the better idea. But the Howard Sushuti Ruti Rama is coming down. MG42 has to retreat. It might take a shot before it retreats. Uh, that's safe. It gets out of there. It's gone. Good. Our Pumas, though. Uh, <laughs> hopping into the building with Minesweepers. I don't think there's going to be any mines in there, Spanky. You should probably check elsewhere. Uh, taking a lot of fire as well from a Wolverine, from bars, from other Minesweepers. It's the Minesweeper Wars. Uh, yeah, he retreats. It's a good thing he did do that as well. Lots of mines to sweep, though. Mines everywhere for everybody. Everyone loves mines. Neville's coming down yet again. Will Helping Hands retreat from this one? This is certainly well within range of that Neville. He is retreating. Not very well, though. The Wolverine's kind of blocking him. The Nevils aren't coming down here. They are landing down here. There, at that point. The last point I checked is coming on to the Ranger Squad. Now the Ranger Squad is actually being hit by Grenadiers with Shreks and Volks. That's one for them all, which means everybody gets passive regeneration. Remember to get that bet one for your infantry. Always a fine idea. Always a fine idea. And a second Neville shot goes up here, so we have two Nevils out now. And an officer. I, I want to know what the officer is really doing. He, usually when we see an officer, it's Blitzkrieg into fuel, mega, hyper, awesome, manpower blitz, and then just many, many stooks. Um, with the officer doing the observation, so it speeds up the building time. But that's not the case here. He's just decided to get an officer. Maybe to use force retreat. Maybe to use the, the artillery barrage. I don't know. Well... 
We'll see how he wants to do that. In the meantime, they're helping hands, booning up his armored force. Whilst the players converse, I don't have any lag gear. So we have some lag going on for the players, but not in the replays here. Yes! No lag in the replays. We don't want to save lag in the replays. I wonder what kind of new replay features we're going to have in Code 2. But enough about Comedy Varus 2, because everyone's going to talk about Comedy Varus 2. But I have our history of error, especially when it comes up to the leading of Comedy Varus 2. There's going to be so much discussion in the forums, and maybe... We're going to see some gameplay at some point. Gameplay videos, yeah. Officer is retreating behind. It's just retreating behind. That's it. We're going to see these riflemen, vet two riflemen, disarm this mine. Rather effectively. Support is now available. That idiot! You see, that idiot steps on the mine. Not that idiot, that's a VP. That doesn't have sentient life form beings or uh, even as aware of its own existence. But one guy stepped on the mine and the guy to the we far left actually left. died. That just doesn't seem fair to me. That doesn't seem fair at all. Why couldn't they swap life? No doctrine choices. Yes, yes, I do have not. I do have not seen doctrine choice made at all yet. Sentence structure is not important in these things at all. But our pumas are alive. Our pumas are really fantastically alive. Eight kills for one puma. Seven kills for the weaselly puma. Uh, as for what, what do we got for the nebbles? Two kills, one kills. Nebbles are way more for suppression than for killing. you got to remember that. And also, the closer you are to the target, the better accuracy. It's quite a huge difference in accuracy. The spreading can actually... At max range can go like from over here. It could be there and then over there. The difference is megatastic. Uh, but close up, getting them as close as possible, they might actually start doing uh, a bit of damage. And just... Uh, there's the spread for you. That is the spread. Darn it. And that's, I don't think that is even max range. So our M10s are moving up on the north side. We've got riflemen engaging grenadiers. Both grenades. Oh, excellent grenade from hands there. Killing two guys. Uh, he lost a few guys, I think, from a return grenade from the grenadiers as well. So both players kind of lose out on that one. We've got howitzer shoots going down on the nebble. De cruise it. It's the 105, actually. We've got a 105. Up. I saw that being built earlier, but I didn't see it. No supply upgrades just yet. The supply upgrades would be a really nice idea. We get increased manpower from that. Uh, because it saves you some stuff. That's that's exactly what it does. These M10s could crush infantry as well with their bare hands. But they don't have any bare hands, so they just have to crush it with their tracks. It's kind of just as effective. We could see some grenades go in this building, but it's a rather large building. It's hard to get grenades to be effective in there. Uh, certainly, like to see it just for excitement reasons, but the Panzer Trek's firing... From the building, that's excellent. Oh, how is the shots coming down on this location, destroying the crew of the pack? We've got a forward base here. Interesting choice from Spanky. I like it. Forward bases are cool. Unfortunately, we've got yet again big time erectile dysfunctions for the M10. Catastrophic erectile dysfunction for the M10. It needs to go find uh, its mojo back from a engineer squad. Vet 2 for the rifleman squad, which is actually really good considering that it's got no supply upgrades. They've done really well so far. We've got more howitzer shoots coming down onto this key location. Yeah, die! Destroy the building with whatever you can. None of the vehicles have been destroyed, though. And that Wolverine is just retreating in the worst retreat back ever. I'm surprised the Stug didn't actually take it out. Or even the Pumas gave chase, because Pumas do do damage to M10 Wolverines. They will. It may be minimalistic, but at least it won't receive any fire from that M10. In the meantime, though, everyone's retreating out of this one. Except, except for Spanky. So... What I really meant to say was Hans is retreating out of the situation, except for Spanky. Oh, his Puma did give chase, but uh, he had a mind, so that was not good for him. Uh, in the meantime, Hans is coming down south, and look at the persistence with this barbed wire. Always, always barbed wiring this area, and these mines still... <laughs> okay, we got rifles mining up areas here as well. Mines for everybody. Everybody gets a mine. Has stuck for the time being. Not the best place for it to sit. It could move back here, get repaired there. The Puma also, being on the front lines is never good when you're injured. Han's doing really well so far, just to have generally capped most of the map. Uh, Spanky needs to really dart around and capture some of these areas, and he is nebbling these areas. But nebbles don't exactly hold them so well. You need to actually get infantry in there and do some damage because what will happen usually is you decap these areas and the nebble suppresses them. It's kind of a slow response. Uh, riflemen are very fast to cap. 
May the Puma will give chase. No, it isn't. It's very injured. Vet 2 for the Puma. Uh, needs to hang around. Stay around and get repaired. Everyone needs to get healed up. We need some more infantry on the field. Grenades going off from hands. Uh, excellent grenades, actually. Telling two whole grenadier squads. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Geki. AK-47s for everyone! In fact, what I remember most about Command & Conquer is WE NEED NO SHOES! And I'm just like, dude, where do I upgrade shoes? Can I upgrade shoes? Oh, no hands, you're friendly firing yourself! Stick behind the building, he knows it, he gets a sticky off. That won't do it, but it will immobilize it. Will a howitzer shot go over the top of the building? That building collapses, destroying everybody inside, and everybody goes bowling! Uh, and by bowling, I mean flying out the window like a bowling man. Ooh, that was so close. It does manage. Yes, it gets it! Finally gets it! Puma is down. It's out. It's gone. It's kaput. Comprende? No comprende. Puma. Uh, motorcycle? What? We've got a new motorcycle. New motorcycle tasked with the job of scouting the corner of this map for valuable treasure. It doesn't find any valuable treasure, though. It finds riflemen. And the riflemen more than capable of taking out a motorcycle. Again, there's that Neville firing. Uh, a huge delay between it firing and hitting, so uh, not really getting any moving targets. No moving targets at all, so what will these Wolverines do? Oh, well, the, uh, again, the motorcycle, just crazy times right now. I guess, maybe... Uh, uh, V1... Where will the V1... Oh, yeah, I know where the V1's coming. I see. I can put this together. He's going to V1, the triage center, right here. Totally. See? Totally got the triage center. And that... Don't worry about that. That was nothing. See, that was perfect cameras. No one wanted to see the... <laughs> I'm trolling people big time with cameras. Oh, I'm so mean. I'm so mean. So, yeah, everyone wanted to see that, and I denied them. I feel very satisfied right now. I'm gonna roll. We've got more games to come up next. I'm sure we'll see Ultimate V1s. I'm sure I'll look out of the way of them. I'm a nookie. Our M10s are sitting proud and loud in the front of Grenadier Panzer Shreks. Uh, and now, not so proud. Kind of more dead than proud. In fact, entirely dead and entirely not proud. I don't know if you can be proud about being dead. It's kind of hard to. It must be very difficult. Our Puma, though, fully repaired, back in action. Our Stug, almost fully repaired and back in action. Hans deciding that he's going to cry and weep over losing that M10. Not sticking in the front lines, which I think is fair enough. He's not going to certainly dislodge any of these forces here. Our Nevels are firing again into the centre location. Will he get it? I think it might fall too short. He does manage to kill one guy. There we go, the building falls as well. The building is gone. There's no more. We will not be using that building as a forward base. Not that there ever was going to be hands moving around with a Vet 2 Rifleman squad to cap this point. Now, I always find it a bit of a shame to send your elite infantry to do capping stuff. And he's not even capturing it right now. He needs to get on that. In fact, he's doing battle. They will be able to hold off because they're Vet 2. They're really strong. But I always think, you know, keep them doing the important jobs, not, not the unimportant jobs. It's not going to be too much of a big deal if he caps that fuel, I think. Uh better put it to use on trying to destroy the key locations on the battlefield. He is! He's using the 105 to try and target these Neville pieces, which is the best thing you can really do uh, for the 105s is just to target fire his artillery and try and destroy it. And he's almost dead. It's on 50% light. Uh, so a few more shots of that and he'll eventually get it, but our two Pumas, our motorcycle and our Stug currently the main harsh things to deal with. we got three Pumas now. Three! Three Pumas on the ball. Off-map combat group is up for helping hands, which means you know what's coming. He's going to be spamming that like crazy. I'm just going to bank, spam, bank, spam, bank, spam. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have an orange juice drink. Because I deserve one. It's too hot. It's too smelly. I did get in the shower this morning. That's good. Just need to remember that. I haven't eaten. I forgot to do that. I was meant to do that. So we're going to feel entirely crappy throughout the day. We've got three casts to get through this day, and this is game number one. So stick with us. We'll have plenty of fun. Mm. In the meantime, helping hands. Just trying to think about what he's about to do. I think he's about to lose. Oh, I think Spanky there uh, fired there, anticipating that he might retreat. But he did not. He did not retreat, and he did not go into the Nebel fire. So that's what happened there. Spanky doing a really good job of being defensive right now. 
pouring out the vehicles, which are kind of difficult for Hans to deal with until he gets more antennas, but I feel Hans could probably do a better job. Maybe uh, get some rare shots from N10s that he brings on the field, but he just needs more N10s. That's basically all he's got to bring out. Just get more anti-tank. He's been pretty weak on anti-tank for the entire game. But 105, though, really key on destroying these Nevels. Again, another 50% life Nevel. Nevels not doing too much of it than suppressing. Grouping our stuff together is not a good idea. Here he brings the main force into the Pumas. Why do I feel like this is a bad idea? It might be because it is a bad idea. He just took a grenade inside that window and there's a soldier inside. He falls to the first floor. There we go. There he is. Poor guy. And Neville's are firing yet again on the south location. And this is going to be very on target because it's very close. You can see first shot hit. Third shot, not so much. That that shot, no. Okay, the first shot and the second shot were good, but the rest of them were pretty damn poor. We're cheating past these mines now. It loses the squad. That squad is gone from double mines retreating over them. Sometimes retreating does not work. Does not work the way you want it to. Panzer Shrek long shotting, but it doesn't work either. And 10 manages to escape the grasp of any of the Stugs on the field. We got double Stugs. We got triple Pumas. We've got double Nevels. Uh, Hans, I would say, is lacking some sort of decent-sized armada of a force to deal with this. Especially when it comes to tanks. As for Spanky, well done for actually seeing that Hans has a weak spot at the moment, right? Just for armor. He's not too good against armor at the moment. So if we just keep throwing armored vehicles at him, he's going to be having a bad time. And still, we have to capture these areas. So we still got to fight infantry battles. He's still got to go out there and capture stuff. We have a uh, whether he can do that is all going to depend on how well he uses his pumas and vehicles uh, to fend off uh, enemy infantry and enemy armor. And there's certainly, you know, not a lot we can deal with. This M10, you see, chasing this M10 is a grand idea. You just get that shot off, it should destroy it. And there goes the crew going for a swimming lesson. Doing some backflips again. We like backflips. Everybody likes backflips. Backflips are good. And Minesweeper's taking some Stug fire. Uh, Stug really needs to retreat out of this one and get repaired up. Uh, everyone's kind of oddly capping in other areas. We got mines in weird places as well. Uh, most of these pumas seem to be not doing anything, so I, I wish the pumas would be moving around a bit more. They could certainly be put to more better uses around the field. Uh, certainly, like getting these individual squads, even just harassing, stopping people from capturing points, you could maybe even wipe a squad out by doing that. But that's not what's going on. We lose a stug now. That's a shame. And the pumas are running out into their own nebel fire, but. Shouldn't be too concerned about that. They are trying to take out the Bed Free Rifleman squad, at least do as much damage as possible, and then retreat at the first sign of danger. Uh, don't be afraid to dive too much into deep waters when you've got free Pumas. You can expend one at least, but he's not going to do that because he's disobedient. I hate disobedient people. Sticky's going off again. Immobilizing a Stug is fantastic. That thing is only going to be able to fire forwards now. If we can get an M10 Wolverine. Oh, wait, we lost all our M10 Wolverines. That's a shame because now we're not going to be able to take out the Stug. And the Stug going to sit there and take a second Sticky. That Sticky was really fast to recharge. Doesn't get it again. And our Pumas respond in force, in numbers. And here comes the Howitzer shoot to try and finish the job. Yeah, we just got to leave that Stug. That Stug is a no-saver. Our Pioneer is not going to be able to repair that in time. Uh, there goes... No, the Stug is still alive! Mengun damaged! It could get out of this. No, it doesn't. Of course, it, why would it? Why would it, like, get out of it as soon as I said it could get out of this? It's never going to happen. M10 back on the field. We need more of them. Double supply upgrades are up. Which means our infantry veterancy is just going to skyrocket. Uh, we've got a Vet 2 squad. I'm sure they might get Vet 3 pretty soon. Uh, in the meantime, Hans putting some mines down before he goes to cap that area, which is, again, something I advocate quite a lot. Put mines down before you capture areas. Uh, he's going to be seen by Volks, but not seen placing that mine down. He's going to be able to retreat. And Oh, double mines! Double mines! I'm going to hopefully not miss that one. We'll check the map this time. Check the map. The 105 is completely destroyed. The no, wait. Wait for it. The 105 has completely destroyed the Neville. Almost, almost fucked that up. One brave, armored Kevlar of a guy of a Volks hits that mine, and he's not too fussed. He's really not bothered about that at all. Uh, we got a barracks, a barracks, a bunker. 
put down in the middle, covering this YouTube point, which is really irritating. It's so damn irritating to have to deal with a bunker on a VP. And Hans is ticking down. Currently, he's on 149 points. The Neville is firing on the location where the Wolverine is, hitting the Rifleman squad behind it. I don't think Spanky saw that, but it's certainly good for him uh, to do that. In the meantime, though, we just got like a, a lot of pumas and a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that Hans has to deal with. And I don't know what he can really do right now other than just pile on the Wolverines and try to do the best with his veteranized infantry. I mean, he's got the he's got the vet advantage. He's going to win the infantry battles. He just needs to win the armor battles. If he can win them, his infantry will be able to win the infantry battles. Uh, like these battles here. Vet one squad out. Four kills. This is a brand new squad somewhere. Uh, along the lines, built in the last five minutes, I would presume, uh, as the Vet 2 Rifleman Squad trying to work on the right hand side, or well, the left hand side of this lake. A beautiful lake it is. Look at the reflections of the clouds. We like clouds. Ooh! Just a random thing to shout out about, by the way, uh, for anyone that was watching Falling Skies. I thought Falling Skies was already, it's a TV program. It's being re. not re aired. The season two is coming out on June the 17th, so just a random thing I remembered and I thought, yeah, let's, I'm sure some people are interested in that. Uh, we do some news on Anoki TV. We do do some news. Our Wolverine is dealing with this bunker pretty effectively and the Rangers as well. Those bazookas actually useful. Uh, in the meantime, Vet 1 Rifleman Squad fending off the Volks. It seems like Hans, even though he has like a large portion of the map, it doesn't seem to have a decent amount of, like, bulk of... Oh, shit, we... Yeah, we got off my combat group, and he's got an AT gun. AT guns, where have you been? Where have you been, AT guns? We needed you, like, a long, long, long time ago. Uh, the Neville hitting directly on top of the Wolverine, but it doesn't kill the Korean side. Why would it? That wouldn't make any sense. Not to me, not to anyone. Humor's out. Destroying the South Side Engineers from the South Side, yo. And the Puma, maybe... Maybe give chase, maybe detonate a mine? Why? The Pumas have just like hardly crossed this area so far. I don't know why they want to do that. Our Stugs though. They are doing a good job. Just sitting there, being annoying to the Wolverines, saying, Well, you can't really attack me. I have Stugs. The Panzer Shreks as well. Again. just about to mention the Grenadiers, which had the Panzer Shreks, and they were like totally alive, and then like, the next second they were totally not there, they are gone. Enemy is down to 300 points. They have decided to enter an ethereal state of higher being, aka fucking dead. <laughs> they are dead. Uh, it's a good job we have a new Howard set. That was uh, a really big score. I hear a yet again. We're not going to miss it this time. You wanted to see a V1. You are going to see a V1. And all of that infantry is not going to be hit. It's a shame. There it is. There's a V1. I think the Howard set. Oh, dude, look at the giblets falling down from the sky. That, that guy is... I mean... It's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle, but I think they can probably tape them back together. Uh, you just need to know where what, where goes what. Where goes what? Our Wolverine moving down to deal with some Pumas. A fine, excellent target to take out. Our Stugs are going to respond to that one, though. That's what Spanky needs to do. He's sending both of his Stugs. Uh, not an overreaction. The more shots we can get off on these Wolverines, the better. We've got an AT gun covering the sides, though. Uh, will it be a long distance shot? No, they're firing on the goddamn Volks. We don't want to hit the Volks. We want to hit the Stugs. The Stugs is where it's at. The Wolverine. I don't know why it's sticking around here for so long. The building is about to collapse down. Hans! Go away, Hans! Oh, cartwheeling in the sky. Volks are going to deal with the AT gun as well. And maybe score themselves an AT gun. I don't see why they would need that, though. But at least it's not going to fall into the hands of helping hands. <laughs> Our officer... Oh, nice, lovely officer trying to capture the victory point gets suppressed by the machine gun. Which, I think this is the machine gun from the off-map combat group. And Hans is just entirely in his base now. He's lost his supply depot as well. Yeah, we we need that supply depot back. That would be nice to have. Uh, but also Hans needs to get back, and actually, I don't know, maybe destroy all of the Stugs and the Pumas? And, like, get Wolverines and don't lose them. We, 
there was no reason to lose that Wolverine. That Wolverine was just a a, a badass loss. We we wanted that. That did. I don't think that did anything. It wasn't. It didn't gain any vet, which indicates to me it didn't really kill any vehicle. Uh, we got Nebels randomly going somewhere. There's a fat free rifleman squad with 18 kills to its belt. If only it earned rewards like a belt of giant strength, and then it could lift boxes. I don't know how useful that is, but lifting boxes is always cool. Ah, I need some breathing room for my my ears. They're starting to hurt. This is why I wear the cat hat, guys. The cat hat is the protector of ears. It is a cat hat Losing plus one. Out there. I'm, I'm not really fond of Dungeons & Dragons, by the way. Never played the board game. I know someone who does play the board game. But I like the video games more. So, enough of that. Helping hands deciding that he's going to move to the north side because he can't win the middle. But it's a shame because the middle is where the victory point is at. And... Like, the south side is where the victory point is at. So he needs to do something. He can't just keep coming up here and decapping these areas. That's not going to win him the game. The victory points are going to win him the game. This is clearly a victory point game and not an annihilation game. Both sides aren't losing too much apart from hands, again, doing the weird mix-up. But the, the riflemen, no problem. We got vet free. We got two vet free riflemen now. Sweet. At least I think we have two vet free riflemen. Where is that other rifleman squad? They're down here, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Eating Puma fire! And those Pumas are really going to hurt the rifleman. Just... He needs... Wolverines! Or, like, I don't know, one of the other X-Men. Maybe Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler would be... Favourable. He could teleport inside the base and maybe plant some demolition charges. <gasps> we could get a half-track out and do demo charges in his base. Neat! That's not going to happen, though. That never happens. I'd like to see some of that. We got giblets flying around from guys trying to repair pumas. Uh, that repair station is just really effective. Taking that out would be a good idea for Hans, actually. If you could find that, hit it with a 105. Maybe he's going to buy a new 105. His barracks is on fire. His supply depot is not there. His medic station is there. This is why we should space out our buildings as much as possible. Because then you won't take as much damage when a V1 does hit. Just, just think about that. Think about it. A huge rifleman coming in. And because of the excellent spacing, he does only get that one squad retreated. But he has to retreat the second one because that was a vet free rifleman squad retreated. Force retreating with a officer, I believe. That's a good use of an officer. We don't usually see an officer force retreat. But we did in this case. And it was good. I like to see it. It wasn't as good as it should have been. But it was good nonetheless. Our rangers hiding behind the bush, our riflemen deciding they might want to run to the victory point and get what they can, but the Pumas are both watching there. And the MG42 is also going to set up and deny that completely. And the Nebel as well is suppressing the rangers. <sighs> Helping hands is not in a good situation right now. And again, there goes the force retreat from the officer. He's like, go away. He puts on his scary face. This is the skewy doer. Really do. I'll give you Smurfs if you don't come back. What? Smurfs? Is this. Do you play with Smurfs like micro machines? Like you both. I, I don't know. Is that how it works? Switch Tree must be a Smurf, Allies isn't he? I'm Spanky. He is Spanky. We knew he was Spanky before the game started. That's, that's how good I am. Reading replays is what I do. Spanky's actually uh, managed to capture all three victory points now, uh, which really puts pressure on the Helping Hands, uh, who at the moment doesn't have too much in the middle of the field, but he's going to engage this anyway and run for the victory points, uh, which I believe he will not be able to get. Mind if I post? I do not mind if you post, but I want to see this excellent explosion coming. That's it. Distract Spanky. Distract him and send those guys flying. Yeah. Die, everybody. Now we're going to retreat our Volks. We're going to move everyone else out of the place. And that guy is just getting thrown around. Uh, but, yeah, I think everyone's lost the will to press the retreat button now. So, uh, yeah, KT's coming out. Is the KT coming out? Soon. Soon. We don't have soon. We don't have soon at all. This game is over. This game is over, which means we have to go to the good old player title screen. Hooray! Congratulations, Spanky! 
You have played a fine, standard Wehrmacht defensive game. As for you helping hands, you need to learn how to play with Wolverines. And do it fast. And make a better game out of it. Alright, so we have another game to come up. But I'm gonna take like a five minute break, I think, because my ears are killing me, so...